Hey everyone, Sightless Senshi here today, behind the camera this time. In front of you, you see the woman who is no longer my fiance. That's right, she's my ex fiance. Because we got married! Woo! Woo! Get energetic, you're in front of the camera this time. Yeah, it's true. Throw your hands in the air like I just don't care how silly you look. <laughs> anyway, because I don't. Anyway, tell them what we're doing today, Kelsey. Well, for part of our honeymoon, we are going to the Emily Morgan Hotel in San Antonio, which is supposedly haunted. It um, Top three haunted hotels in the world. Yes, top three in the world. And it used to be a medical facility. Mm -hmm. And the 14th floor was the crematorium. And hopefully we will be staying on the 14th floor. Hell yeah. And so we're filming this tonight, guys. So what I've got hooked up here is a um, harness camera. So I can actually be behind the camera and y'all can just walk around and see what I see. See, here's my hand. I don't know if y'all can see it, but that's my hand. Look at that. Fuck you, Kelsey. Bitch. You were telling yourself to go fuck yourself. Fuck you, Kelsey. There you go. Suck it. Anyway, um, yeah, so we're going to be filming this. Don't worry, I won't film everything that goes on on our honeymoon night. You know what I'm talking about. I <laughs> hope that got on camera. Anyway, um, yeah, but don't worry about that. Um, but we're going to film any hauntings we see, you guys. So get ready for some scary Halloween, October, Rocktober. Cocktober? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to get scary, y'all. Peace out. Bitches! All right. And here we are in our room at the Emily Morgan Hotel. We are on the 14th floor, which is the was the crematorium. This hotel used to be, as we said, a hospital. We found it also used to be a mental hospital. This floor housed a crematorium, possibly also the morgue. Oh, my phone is chirping at me. Hang on, let me turn off the speech. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Sorry about that, everyone. Um, anyway, this is our room. It's a, it's a medium-sized room. It's nice. It's small, but... Uh, whoa, what the hell was that? I don't know. We actually have no idea what that was, guys. That has happened before since we got here. Um, Kelsey's just being cute but we i actually have no idea what that is yeah no i'm not being cute i don't know what it is uh, there's <laughs> there's a chance it might have been the air conditioning to be fair um that would be my guess if i had to give a normal explanation to things um but yeah this is the hotel this is the room um it's very nice i mean it's very chill it doesn't seem too haunted just yet hopefully it'll stay that way or maybe not but let's have a look out the window, shall we? Do you think we can get a good look out here? Yeah, yeah. Or it'll be too glareful? No, give it a try. Okay, let's see what we can do. Let me get these curtains out of the way, guys. Uh, let's see, what's the best way to do that, love? Yep. Just pull these. Okay, whoa, right. Anyway, there's the city below us. Hopefully y'all can see that. I'll try and like, ah, ah, what the hell? Oh, it's just the stick from the the curtain window, or the window curtain rod was poking me in the head. Thought it was a cold bony finger of the dead hanging from our ceiling. Anyway, so this is the room, guys. Um, we're liking it so far. Um, very nice. They also have cookies. That was pretty dope. Not yeah. ghost cookies, just like normal cookies. Yeah, when we checked in, they were like, here's cookies. Free cookies. Free cookies. So yeah, it's it can't awesome. be that haunted um, if there are cookies. Anyway, we're really digging it so far, and we'll definitely keep y'all apprised of anything haunted and scary that goes on. But of course, also, it's our honeymoon, mm -hmm. so gotta have that love. Thanks. We yeah. love you, Kelsey. Mm -hmm. Me and Jive. Mm -hmm. We have our puppy here. I don't know if he's visible on camera. I think you'll get him. Cool. But he's here. So yeah, um, we'll keep y'all apprised of anything haunted we find, and also anything sweet and romantic, because it's our honeymoon. Mm -hmm. Anyway, peace out for now, guys. We'll check in soon. Hopefully. All right, everybody, so it's a lot later at night now. It's after 11, close to 11.30, um, and we've been hearing some pretty strange noises throughout the day. Um, I think it might have been our air conditioning. We asked the hotel, and they said they'd have someone look at it, but nothing has really changed, so I'm not really sure what it is, so I'm going to try and get as close to where I think the sound is coming from, so hopefully you guys can hear it here in a moment. Um... We've got it coming at a really fairly regular interval, which makes me think it might be something in the building, but you never know. So I really want to capture this on film. So let's just listen really carefully and let's see if we can hear anything. 
should be any minute now. There was a small click that might not have registered, but there might be something more. Listen very closely. Not any of that, that was our dog. How far in our, to our time are we, Kelsey? We're at like three minutes thirty. Okay. We calculated it every couple of minutes, but it seems like we're a few seconds past when it should have happened. There it was. Okay. I don't know if everyone heard that, but if you did, it was a sharp clicking. Uh, Kelsey, go ahead and start up the timer again. All right, because there's another much louder sound that seems to come very comparably in time. So we're going to hopefully get that sound next time it happens. I'll try and get that on the next recording. How long has it been? 11.30. Okay. It's been much longer than it has been in last in previous recordings. We might not get it this time. Maybe whatever it is. There it was. There it was. Okay, I don't know. Hopefully you guys heard that. I'm fairly confident you did. Um, but we've been hearing that throughout the day. Again, it really sounds like an air conditioning thing. Like something's... It sounds like something's moving, the grating, though. It's very strange. The hotel looked into it, and nothing has changed, so nothing's been found. But it's a pretty weird sound to happen every time the AC kicks on if that's what's indeed happening. We can't confirm that that's what it's related to, but it's a weird sound and I thought you guys might appreciate hearing it. Anyway, we're gonna do some exploring here in a minute and we'll definitely get that on film. All right, everybody, we're now in the library of the Emily Morgan Hotel. Um, we're gonna be having a look around here. Let me just do a quick, slow look around the room. The proprietor of the hotel at the moment was very kind to let us in and have a look around. It's currently set up for an event, but he advised us that he's had some of the weirdest experiences in this room. So we're creeping around a little bit here. Got the fireplace here. So there's a yeah, fireplace. Very fireplace, cool. Fireplace clock, mirror, mm -hmm. little bit of books. Mm -hmm. And then to the right here, there's it looks like kind of a massage table almost. Interesting. Are we getting that on the film? A little more. There we go. Okay. Yeah, what is that exactly? I don't know. I wonder if it's something for the event tomorrow? I would assume so. Interesting. That might not be immediately relevant to the ghost huntingness. Maybe, maybe not. You never know. Yeah. So let's see here. Very interesting room. You definitely get a very chilly sense when you come in here. Bearing in mind that the first floor and basement used to be very close to, or the basement was once the morgue and the first floor is very close to it. You can definitely see why you'd get a weird vibe coming out of here. In fact, I think once we've had a little more of a look around here, we're gonna check out that morgue. So I'll, we'll be back with you in a moment. We're now descending into the basement of the hotel. It is now very nice, of course, as, as is this entire building but it was once the morgue of the medical arts building, which is what this building was once known as. So even though you can feel that it was a very nice, that it is a very nice building, there's certainly the air that it was something else, definitely. Even as you walk down, the sound almost immediately fades. You can still slightly hear the music being piped in from the lobby, but there's just an air here of silence. More than you think. It's quieter than I would have expected. Mm -hmm. In fact, let me give you all a listen, just real quiet. I'll shut up for a second. Other than the faint piped in music, there's just so much silence here. Got executive offices down here. So this has kind of become a more administrative location it seems like one of the hotel staff informed us that while they were working alone one night they felt someone pulling on their coat down in these offices there was distinctly no one there 
Here we have the elevators, yes. Mm -hmm. And the, the little... antique mail slot. Yep. Very cool. These mail slots go all the way up from the to the 14th floor, the mortuary, and or not mortuary, the uh, crematorium, and were used to drop mail all the way down to the basement if needed. I don't know if they could go anywhere in between. Yeah. I assume the other floors could drop them, but I don't know about how you would pick things up from another floor. Yeah, there's some at the bottom. What do we have over here? Bathrooms. Okay, so just bathrooms over here. ATM. Okay, so definitely some more modern touches, as you can see. Yeah. Again, it's ear. Other than the whir of that machine, whatever that is. That's the ATM. The ATM. It sounds just eerily quiet over here. It's a disconcerting thing. Yeah. Well, we'll go ahead and cut for now, and I'll let you know when we're at the next exciting location, everyone. We are now heading to the seventh floor which is legendary for being one of the three most haunted floors in the hotel. This floor was, I believe, famous for having a haunted bride, correct? Yes. So there was a ghost bride who appeared here. Given that it was our honeymoon, I think, going to a floor with a ghost bride is very fitting. One thing I can notice about this floor distinctly is that the moment we came out, there was an oppressive heat compared to our floor, which is much higher up, discernibly and unsettlingly cold, this floor is almost overwhelmingly hot. Okay, just rooms. So over here are just purely residential spaces as are most of these in the hotel, of course. But we wanna see if we can find any good access points for a little more exploring. That's the handicap room. All right, fantastic. Always good to have. Mm -hmm. There's these three weird ones. Rooms? Yeah. Not quite sure what these are. It looks a little different on our floor. Yeah, so these aren't necessarily residential or rentable rooms, but... I think they are. Oh, they are? Mm -hmm. Okay. On our floor, there were access to a stairwell of some kind. All right. Luckily or unluckily, we haven't seen anything particularly unsettling. But I do have to say the heat here is borderline unbearable for me. I'm starting to sweat already. Yeah, Whereas on our floor, I was shivering pretty regularly. It's a pretty dramatic change. But now, we're gonna head up to another floor. We're now on the 12th floor, the second most haunted floor on this in this building. It feels neither hot nor uh, particularly cold here, which is nice. Three doors there. That are rooms? Yeah. Okay. So those are potential, those are rooms where people are staying, so we're gonna avoid those. The elevator is very loud here. stairs here? Yeah, at that end. Okay. The fire exit. The fire exit. Okay, so we won't be using that one. Definitely. <laughs> we are interested to explore the stairwells, though, so we're hoping to find access to one soon. That isn't an emergency one. Yeah, I don't want to set off any alarms. That would be unpleasant for everyone involved. No kidding, especially since it's almost one in the morning. Yeah. Not a good look if we were to do that. Are these the stairs? Yeah. Hope for the best. Okay, I do open. Okay. I'll hold that. I'll get that. Thank you. Okay. So this is the stairwell. 
Hello, everyone. I'll just keep the camera rolling. It's very quiet. Shh, let's see. let them listen for just a moment. I think I heard something. Shh. I thought I heard footsteps besides ours. Let's keep going. Where is this taking us? Path to the actual stairwell. Okay. I guess. All right, so we're outside now? Yeah. Okay. Get a little of this. Yeah. We're getting this on film? Yeah. All right, where do you want me? Right here? Yeah. All right. Check that out, everybody. Ooh. Big fall, everyone. Oh, don't push me, you fucking psycho. Crazy asshole. Well, one way to go but up. <laughs> yeah. Alright, shall I cut the camera for now? No, let's kill it. Alright, let's keep it rolling, guys. She says film, we film. <laughs> <laughs> let's go, let's go. Yeah. This will take us to the next stairs. Yeah. Alright. Okay, this is the actual stairwell. Now this is the kind of stuff I was looking for. Yeah. Nice and eerie in here. Go ahead and get a good sound, like just some background noise. Let's make sure everyone can hear how quiet it is. All right, let's go. So quiet. Yeah. What the hell was that? I don't know. Did you guys hear that? Hopefully you did. Oh shit. Please tell me you heard that. Oh fuck, let's get out of here. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, what the hell is that noise? There's more stairs. Oh, fuck. Okay, guys, there's something distinctly tapping on doors or walls downstairs, and we're getting the fuck out of there. Please tell me that's not locked. Nope. Okay, after you. Go, go, go. Hotels don't have, don't like to write 13 on floors. This is technically the 13th floor. This is the former crematorium. It's where our room is located. I don't know what we heard in those stairs, but I don't want to stick around and find out, to be honest with you. I was ready to do this as kind of a joke, but that scared the hell out of me, if I'm being completely honest. So I've only got one door at this corner on this floor. Interesting versus the others. That had three. That oh, this one's a double door here. So that's an interesting architectural touch there. Yeah, difference. All I know is I want to stay far the hell away from those stairs. I don't know what that was. Well, but I was looking and there's like two more rounds we could go up. Really? Yeah. We should check that out? Yeah. Okay. But for now, we're going back into our room. I think we'll reevaluate and see what we want to do. So for the time being, I will catch you guys later. All right, everybody. I personally don't think it's the best idea, but uh, Kelsey here wants to go back into the stairwell and find out what that sound was from before. So uh, here we go. Lead the way, love. Just knock on this? No. 
Did you hear it? Yeah. Someone just knocked on this door. It sounded like it kind of like shuttered shut a no, little bit. Look, I'm trying to like replicate that by shaking it. That's all I can do. But it, that was like a knock. Air pressure, maybe. Maybe. I hopefully it was air pressure. Anyway, so far no sign of that sound. So we're gonna go nice and quiet upstairs and see what we find. Is it? Yeah. Let me see. Whoa. Look at that. Yeah. Are we near the roof then, I guess? I think this is way to the roof. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What's up? I thought I heard something. Shh, shh, shh. It was like a clicking. I think we're okay. So creaky, it's kind of hard to... What the hell was that? Why are you doing that? I think it's just the... We'll keep doing it again. I don't know. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Okay, don't do that. <laughs> okay, we figure out what that was at least. Oh, jeez. And how much higher up is it? This is... Okay. Is there any light up here? So we can't open this. Yeah. Is there any other doors or is that it? That's it. Okay, we're heading back, guys. Because we cannot go up there. But I definitely do want to keep a sharp ear out for any weird sounds. So, I gotta tell you, the structural integrity of this stairwell worries me. Is this where we started? Yeah. Okay. So no signs of the eerie sound from floor 12. That's good. <laughs> That's a relief to me. Shall we head back out? Let's do it. All right. I think we'll retire to our room then. Sounds good. All right, let's get back out of here real quick. And here we are, back outside. And we're gonna slip back over to our room with that, but first give you a quick look from the 14th floor. This railing is kind of loose. That's worrisome. Anyway, have a look out. It's a little higher up, guys. And I think that'll be it for our ghost hunting adventures. We heard a What was that? Oh, okay. Whew, worried me. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Scares me, yo. Superstitious. Anyway, so there's the streets below, guys. We were having a wonderful honeymoon, don't you think, Kelsey? Yeah. This is very delightful. Say hi to the people. Hi. Hi to the people. All right, well, bye, everybody. Thank you for tuning in to our Haunted Honeymoon Special. And we will catch you all next time. Bitches! <laughs> <laughs>